Drew here, Frisco Tennis Stringing. I'm about to string a Prince Air OTT Bandit racket. Uh, this video will be the same for any uh, racket that has these O ports. Prince is famous for these. Uh, as you can see, these don't have grommets on them. They actually have these O ports. And the video I want to make just shows my Gamma X Stringer. It has a locking mechanism on the turntable. It's actually pretty important for this type of racket because as you'll see as we string, uh, these first few crosses are going to want to yank the racket on that turntable so you won't get a, a good even tension pull. Uh, so this locking mechanism is going to come in real handy on this type of racket. So if you're looking for a, a tennis stringing machine with a locking uh, a mechanism on it, I would recommend that if you are planning on stringing different types of rackets because these do come up on uh, not just tennis rackets but racquetball rackets. I've seen it as well. So I'll show you a little bit how I use the locking mechanism on this type of uh, this type of racket with these O ports. Uh, like I said, Prince is famous for them. Uh, but I'm going to cut, cut out the strings, get this racket mounted. I'll, uh, I'll do the mains like normal and I'll show you how I use the, me uh, the locking mechanism on the turntable um, uh, when I start on these crosses. When stringing with these Prince O-Port rackets, uh, they can be a little bit tricky because it does not have the traditional grommets. And the reason why it can be tricky is when you pull tension on those crosses, that cross will want to go diagonal on you and, and you won't be able to clamp it properly and get the proper tension. So with my Gamma X Stringer electronic constant pull, what's really great about it, it has a locking mechanism on the turning table. Uh, so that way, uh, I can just turn the knob and it will actually, it has teeth that lock together and it locks that, that uh, the turning wheel or, or turning table. So uh, when I pull tension, it won't allow that racket to move. And this really comes in handy. Uh, in the past, I actually had to adjust the, the locking mechanism because it wasn't catching right, but it's pretty simple uh, once you get it in place because uh, you just simply turn a knob and it'll lock into place and once that is locked you can just simply pull tension like normal clamp and then uh, uh, turn the knob to release the uh, the turning wheel or the turning table so you can then do that again and with these O ports you have to do this with the first half of the crosses after that you can just tension like normal because they will uh, start pulling even where you won't need to use the the locking mechanism so this is a great tool to have for your stringer I'll link to the stringer I have below but if you're looking to buy a stringing machine and you're gonna be stringing rackets that may have these O ports or may need to lock into place it's a really handy tool to have if I didn't have it uh, I'd probably just have to hold the racket with one hand and then tension with the other and, and, and stringing by myself that would be uh, pretty difficult to really clamp it properly but with this locking mechanism uh, it makes stringing these rackets pretty straightforward so it, it's, it's actually quite important if you string a lot of rackets so I, I just want to make a video showing uh, how I string these Prince uh, Opor rackets and it's, it's pretty straightforward. Also, side note, the following video was shot at about 4 a.m. because I was stringing several rackets for uh, a tournament for some people the following day. Uh, so, sorry if I look a little bit tired, but, uh, you know, it comes with the gig. You love tennis, love stringing, so I, I didn't mind it. But uh, if I look a little tired, I, this is one racket I had to string, and uh, I figured I would uh, do a little video showing how I, I string these because uh, I actually don't own any Prince uh, O-Port rackets so when these come up I, I actually wanted to do a, a video on it so uh, if you see the clock in the back it, it's actually uh, late night into early morning but uh, just a little behind the scenes fun trivia for you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video on how to string a Prince racket with the O-Ports without grommets. Having the locking mechanism on the machine certainly helps. I'll link to the machine below if you're interested in purchasing it through Amazon. Uh, but yeah, when you use these, or have to string these O-Ports, being able to lock that turntable as you're stringing definitely helps out. And I've heard other guys uh, kind of have their other methods to hold it in place. But having this locking mechanism makes this much, much easier to string. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Stringing, and I hope to talk soon.